no one has really done a cataloging of architectures across domains in the software engineering space, which is what I'm attempting to do. Mm -hmm. My professional focus is upon architecture these days now. And therefore, rather than deducing, which is really how the UML came about, mm -hmm. and then I said, here's some great ideas, let's make them happen, and there became lots of instances, I'm doing the utter reverse. The mistake that they make most often is they continue to try to sell the theory and the concept of architecture and get people to buy in at the biggest level. But that isn't what we really need. What, what we need are architects who can take these big visionary pictures of the future and translate them down into small actionable chunks so that they can talk to each individual in an organization and give that individual person a direct item that they can go do. Okay, so now let me talk about generate and test. So, design is the process of generating hypothesis, testing that hypothesis, generating a new hypothesis, and keeping going to either run out of budget or, 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 or you get an answer you like, okay, one or the other. The value of ISA as an organization is the value that we obtain as a body of architects in creating and defining a profession. And my goal and my desire as the Austin chapter president is to, from within that area, from in that part of the country, to drive that profession forward, to bring together like-minded individuals across the technologies that we work with to talk about architecture, but to also drive architecture and to drive the professions. For us, ISA at the moment is on, a, on the cusp of something really big. The certification, the fact that the certification is out, the body of knowledge is there. The training and certification programs to go with it is something that we can offer architects that there's real value to it. And from an advocacy perspective, we can now go to organizations and companies and architects and say, this is what we believe an architect is. If you agree with us, great. If not, we're building that kind of consensus and we'll take your feedback and, and, and bring it to a wider audience. So when, whether I'm an architect in Ireland, in Dublin, or whether I'm an architect in the UK or in the US, that we begin to build some consensus as to what an architect is. And I think that's the true value of what ISA has to offer. I found out about ISA just over two years ago. I was looking to connect with other architects in my community and what I found was that was very difficult. I went to local user group meetings, I talked to a lot of people and I had all these questions that weren't getting answered. I tried going, I'm, I'm from a .NET community background, I tried going to the local .NET user group and had questions that I was struggling with in terms of how I should design my application, the types of choices I should make, uh, how I should talk to uh, my customers and stakeholders about what the system should do and I, I really couldn't get the kind of answers that I needed. I, I struggled with that. I stumbled across the ISA website and saw that there was no chapter in Denver, Colorado, so I started one. We set up a member-based certification board of directors and Scott Anderson, are you here? Talked about this, uh, talked about this yesterday. He is a member He's not ISA staff, he runs the Board of Education. Another member, uh, and, and by the way, we don't care who their employer is. Scott happens to work for Microsoft. The, ch the chairman of the board, a certification board, is a guy named Joseph DiCarlo. He works for Turner Broadcasting. My name is Scott Anderson. I'm the chairman of the Board of Education for ISA. And the Board of Education was founded uh, about three months ago to replace um, and also to provide an umbrella for all of the educational activities that we now have going on. So we have a, a certification committee, we have our ATC, which is the Architect Training Committee, and that is the committee that owns the taxonomy, but also is the committee that builds the new content and builds the new courses and also shepherds authors through the process. Um, we now have a bylaws committee, and we have two more potential committees that we'll be adding eventually as we intend to grow the ISA commitment to education.